Uh, they're classified as endangered. There are less than a thousand uh, animals left in the wild, which is not a great, great number really. Um, they're very vulnerable to habitat loss. A lot of their populations are now isolated from one another. They're also very vulnerable for cats and foxes, which we know they're the perfect size for a little uh, snack for a cat. I think most of the threats that they're facing are human induced so I think we have a bit of a responsibility to sort of counter what we've done and these animals have huge ecosystem services. A lot of the betongs and things do a lot of digging and turn over the soil which helps the plants to regenerate. This fenced area is the largest feral free or feral predator free area in Western Australia. It's looking better and better when we've got these large reserves and sanctuaries set aside for them. Habitat loss is one of their biggest threats, so as long as we have somewhere to put them, somewhere that they can survive, it's good. And as long as we can keep the feral cats and foxes from preying upon them, they, they should have a good shot and hopefully um, we'll win their fight against extinction and take them off the endangered list in the long run. get 10 species reintroduced. We've done three already and once we've got all those 10 it'll be like stepping back in time. It'll be like coming here before European settlement seeing all the animals running around doing their thing. I think it'll be amazing. They're such an iconic species it would be such a shame if we lost them forever. They're our um, state faunal emblem so it's something we should all care about.